Just amazing, exceeding all the expectations. The fast development here in the, in the Greater Bay Area. Frontier, innovation and uh, prosperity. It's incredible meshing tradition with modernization. Let the world have a better understanding of China. was something new for me. <laughs> it shows the traditions but from the perspective of the stylization. This is the 109th floor at Guangzhou Tower. Although this is not the topest floor, but here you can also have a panoramic view of the Guangzhou city and it's really, really beautiful. When you st stand at the bottom of the tower, you don't really feel the height, but once you've reached the top of it, you can really feel that. Just see the historical part and the modern part of the city as well and the, the Pearl River also. In Guangzhou, you can, you know, cruise in the river and you can see the lights the sea, on the both shores and they even prepared a surprise for us on the Canton Tower. Yeah, it was really amazing. Uh, our logo and color was displayed on the tower. Yeah. Today is the second day of the tour and the key word for today is experiencing digital life. And our first stop is WeChat Headquarters. We visited the, the new uh, Nansha region that I've never heard before and this is incredible what has been built in, in the last few, few years. It's like almost like Shenzhen story. From the scratch it becomes one of the centers, major centers in the whole area. So I visited places like Nansha before. I was amazed like how big step forward it has been done. size of the campus they built and it was so impressive and it was so well done that was very very impressive to see what's behind where the R&D people sit where our things are actually being developed yeah we came to the village it's awesome we met some awesome people but they have been take care of this heritage culture. It's a beautiful thing that everybody can learn from. I'm so happy I was here. The performers were under the sun. It was like 37 degrees, super hot. And they were doing it with such perfection and under those costumes. China tour in Guangdong province and we've come to Shenzhen city. So this is the Nanshan District Government Service Center and we've come here today to experience how foreigners can start their own business in Nanshan District and also learn about some favorable policies. We just tour around the Taiwan Park and now we are inside the Taiwan Scout House in Shenzhen City. So talents are of great importance to the development of Shenzhen and the government is also trying their best to attract and also nurture more talent here. So inside this house there are actually a lot of new and interactive new te uh, technologies for people to experience. We met up with Professor 
Zhang Lin was amazing in terms of knowledge and it was enlightening to hear more specifics and details about the current opening up and reform and how they're going about it at city level. The Chinese economy reform and opening up has uh, done a lot in, in terms of uh, developing the Chinese economy, you know, in terms of also uh, globalization. I think especially also you see yeah, here the area, the Greater Bay Area, it was early on already open to everyone, that um, yeah, it brings prosperity. It means dialogue. Dialogue means people-to-people -people exchange and more than 10 times, including in the Guangdong tour. Through those dialogues, we have the mutual and inclusive understanding. I believe that if people would like to understand China, firstly, they should explore China, experience China, and have their own perspective on China. That is true understanding. I believe that people talking to each other directly better than talking of each other. I think this dialogue is, uh, itself is very meaningful. People can exchange different ideas. When you come and really get to see what's happening in the Great Bay Area, that's when you really fully get to understand the future of the region as a whole and also the future for China. The story of China is a story that's ongoing. It's a, it's a country that's growing, that's developing. It's ready for the, the next page. I'm ready to turn that page and see where it's going. I think there's a lot that we can learn in terms of um, how uh, the Chinese economy developed from the opening up and, and reform policies. It's a demonstration of uh, the development of technology where it was a mixture of you know, technology and, and nature. Uh, first time we went, we went to Beijing, this time currently we are in Guangdong and we are going to Sichuan. All of them are representing a different uh, category of uh, uh, Chinese culture. We, we would like to experience rich civilization in Sichuan.